Hello and welcome to one of these sewing tutorials that I must admit, uh, while making it, I can see that I've made it many times. It's a very nice tiered dress and it's one of my favorite makes and maybe that's why I keep coming back to it. So to make it, you need some fabric folded in two layers. So that has four or two folds, so four layers in total, and then a top to measure from. And as you can see here, I measured and I um, just drew around it and cut it and that's a very very easy way to do it and then it's simply about making some uh, layers now uh, some parts i'm placing this uh, dividing it in three parts and then i have three long lines that i can then afterwards cut up to create two tiers uh, approximately um, you need each tier to be 1.5 or two times longer wider sorry not longer wider than the previous tier but this was kind of a little challenge because I didn't have that much fabric. So I just had to use what I had. So these tiers are only a little bit kind of wider than the previous one, but it still works. So it's also just to show you how much you can get away with uh, actually creating something nice with from not very much fabric. So I'm just stitching it together uh, on my serger at once. So not first uh, doing a zigzag stitch and then a normal uh, straight seam. I'm just going straight ahead and doing it on my serger because I'm so lucky that I have one. But of course, if you don't, you can always use a zigzag stitch for the fraying edges and then just stitching it together with a normal straight seam. And now I'm just placing these uh, tiers, tier layers on top of each other so I can uh, stitch them together. And as you can see, I just cut off a little bit because I thought the middle tech tier was a little bit too narrow so you can see here there still is a bit to scrunch it up with so just that little bit that i took off i'm stitching onto the last and yeah the second tier um or the third tier depending on how you count them we've got the top bit and then the middle and then the bottom bit but of course there are only two actual tiers that are stitched onto the top but i hope you know what i mean um they are now a little bit wider than the previous one even though not a lot um, and they're stitched together so the tiers are in tubes and the top is of course also stitched together so that means that the bottom opening of the top can now be attached to the middle tier and I'm doing it so I'm dividing the bottom opening of the top in four uh, parts with the, these wonder clips and then doing the same for the for the tier part so also dividing that into four parts because then I can align those wonder clips so I have like a quarter a part of the dress that needs to, to need to stitch together at once and then I can simply ruffle the gathers as I go along as you can see I'm doing here on my serger uh, right away and I'm being very careful with my fingers of course really really do that because the serger can be a dangerous machine with these wonder clips that are in for each quarter of the dress it's just very easy to uh, yeah to see how far you are and you don't end up with a lot of fabric towards the end that you didn't get distributed and uh, that was the middle part done and then it's just doing the same with the bottom bit so again four parts uh, divided into four parts on both the middle tier bit and the bottom tier bit and then attaching them together and then uh, you just you distribute the extra width that's on the bottom part to that middle part uh, and you can actually put an extra wonder clip in as i'm doing here so i'm dividing it into eight because the more fabric width you get to work with the harder it actually gets so i like when i kind of have a lot of fabric width to deal with to simply add an extra uh, division so instead of just four it's eight but i still start with the four uh, parts and then i separate each of those four parts into two separate parts and then then I have the eight parts that makes it easy and manageable for me um, and not having to worry too much about too many pins and and I still kind of just do it along the way and yeah it's not that detailed but but it works and I'm just giving the bottom opening here a nice bit a uh, nice little go over with my serger and perhaps you can see it, you can just see it in this video, but I have like some white thread, but also some yellow and kind of lime green color in. So this serger seam actually is a little bit festive. I really like to do it like that. And the serger is of course so cool because it cuts thread off at the same time as it's so, so yeah, I love that bit. And then you just got this bit of thread you need to cut away. That's looking quite nice and uh, you can always keep it like that if you want to. 
So here we have the neckline opening and you can always uh, adjust that as you go along. And for this one, I actually also wanted to adjust the sides because it got way too wide. Um, that's what happens sometimes. So my youngest tried it on and it was just, it was too wide. So I'm just doing like a very, very quick um, way of adjusting it here. And of course, um, yeah, you could do it differently. You could just adjust the top bit before you actually stitch on the tears. But um, yeah, I'm doing it like this just to demonstrate to you that that also works and that's fine. So I'm just going in from under the sleeve and making a curve that goes tighter to the body and then a nice curve in towards the waist and then out again. And it still looks uh, very cool. You can just, uh, yeah, cut the excess fabric away, go over it with the serger again or your zigzag stitch, depending on what you have. So you don't have like excess fabric in there because yeah, that is a bit annoying. And now we've got to the neckline opening is make sure that it fits. So try it on and see if you need to cut away extra fabric if it's too narrow, uh, too, yeah, too small. And once you've adjusted it so it fits, then it's simply the bias tape for this one. And I have another video that's also using a neckline facing, which is cool, but I still love the bias tape. And especially like this one where you have bias tape that fits the color, then it's so easy to attach it uh, along the neckline opening, and then just fold it towards the back. And then you simply just stitch and go and it's it's on very quickly and it's looking nice and neat and uh, yeah once you've done it a couple of times there is really no hassle to it so i would really recommend that you try that bias tape just to uh, to see what you can do with it that makes it very cool and uh, also for this one i'm going to use some elastic in the sleeve openings and this sleeve opening is of course it's a short little sleeve so it will be up on the upper arm so make sure that it fits your upper arm width if you don't want it too tight because that's not comfortable and i'm just stitching the elastic ends together but you can also make a, sh a small knot if you want to and then i'm creating a little tube casing uh, with the fabric so i'm folding the fabric towards the back uh, and then simply placing this elastic tube inside it and then just pulling it as i go along to make sure that the elastic is is stretched out so i can stitch in the fabric also stretched out of course and then we have it here and then it's nice and gathered and try to be careful not to stitch the elastic kind of stuck in it but make sure that the elastic can move in that in that little casing that you're creating that makes it looks nicer if, if it can move and it's not just not ju not just stitched into the actual uh, fabric i prefer that and uh, yeah that is done we've got the neckline opening done we've got the sleeves we've got the tears on and yes the bottom bit of course i'm just gonna leave that because i like the yeah that cool uh, fabric uh, and thread combo as you can see and then we just got a dress ready for a little grungy girl and uh, it's very cool and i really hope you liked uh, this uh, oh yeah maybe give it a little iron if you are so inclined that just makes it look a little bit nice and finished but you know to be to be truthful i don't often do that but yeah the receiver was very happy and i think it looks cool and um yeah give it a go it's nice and easy so thanks for watching